pole dancing. A once taboo subject left in the back rooms of a gentleman's club has banished its bad reputation. Pole dance studios have become very popular all over Manchester as a fun and effective way to exercise. I visited some of these pole dance studios to find out more about pole dance as an exercise and skill as well as its potential as an Olympic sport. Blush Dance is one of the longest established pole dance schools in Manchester. Maria Stutt has been teaching people to pole dance for three years. She tells me about the dance style taught at Blush. Uh, we're more exercise based, sort of fun fitness, that's what we're aiming for. Um, we do, we do, do it, it obviously is dance based, we do uh, do routines. But what, the way we work is we'll teach people over a six week course, they'll learn different things on each week. Uh, and it'll be with the aim of putting together a routine so at the end of it they'll be able to do every move in the routine, put the routine together and the whole aim of it in total is to get fitter. How have you seen pole dancing change over the years? It's become a lot more popular recently. Um, it used to be when I first started that when I said I did pole dancing people would be a bit ooh but now when I say it everybody almost pretty much everyone says oh I've got a friend who does that I know my sister does that so and so does that so it's definitely becoming a lot more popular. Um, have people's views of pole dancing changed? I think they are definitely beginning to yeah more and more people are getting interested in it and enough to sort of come and give it a try as soon as you've tried it you realize that it's not how you imagined it would be anyway it's not there is a petition for pole dancing to become an olympic sport do you think this would help or hinder the sport as it is now well i do think it would help in some respects in that um it would probably bring it out of the shadows completely if, people, if it was a, an olympic sport it would be respected for the the amount of strength uh, and persistence that you need to become a good pole dancer but then on the other hand I do think we survived this long without the Olympics do we really need it? What are the benefits of pole dancing to the students? Um, well fitness definitely is the number one um, benefit that they'll find from it you do get stronger and fitter every lesson that you do you will get really strong and as the girls get fitter and lose weight and things they tend to get more body confident as well. Body Bar Pole Dance School is the only pole specific studio in Manchester. The glamorous studio is home to 18 poles and many students. Penny Howarth has been teaching people to pole dance for five years. She tells me how she first got into pole dancing. I was working as a professional dancer, my contract ended so I moved back home into my parents house and I was going to all sorts of dance classes just to keep active while I was looking for another job and then I met Karen who is the owner of Body Bar and she invited me along to a pole dance workshop and I thought why not give it a go and fell in love. As soon as I touched the pole I was like this is amazing and then I went to every lesson that I could and three months later I was teaching. <laughs> we are the only pole specific studio in Manchester. Um, the instructors are world class. Karen has competed in the World Pole Dance Championships and this year me and my doubles partner Anna Chisholm we're going to compete in the Worlds this year. Um, so top class instructors, top class atmosphere, top class. There is a petition for pole dancing to become an Olympic sport. Do you think this will help or hinder pole dancing as it is now? I think it will help. Um, it's going to increase awareness of the sport because there's a lot of people who still don't know it's out there. I mean, awareness is increasing, but there's a lot of people who have no idea what it is or what it means. Um, so, yeah, I think it will be a good thing. The aim of Opening Body Bar is to just spread the wonderfulness of pole dancing. The main thing that I love about it is anybody can do it. We've got students who are 18 year olds who are at university to 45 year olds that are housewives and they just come for their social life.
ambition for pole dancing to become an Olympic sport has been met with a warm reception from pole dance instructors. However, others have not been so positive. I spoke to Chris War, a 24-year-old personal trainer, about his thoughts on pole dancing as an exercise regime and as a sport. Yes, I do see it as a form of exercise. Um, it does require a hell of a lot of upper body strength and core strength. So it is good for building like muscle, um, muscle definition and general fitness. There is a petition for pole dancing to become an Olympic sport. Would you consider pole dancing to be a sport? Um, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't consider it to be a sport at all because I class as a sport as competition and competing against people where pole dancing is just like a, a one-off person doing moves on a pole. Um, say for example, were they going to do um, different types of routines? So would they do an upbeat routine? Would they do a slow beat routine? Would there be a routine where it's just certain movements? And how would they judge this? Would it be judged like uh, the gymnastics? Then you have to go down the lines of, is it a female only sport or is it female and male? Although classes are very female dominated, pole dancing has its origins in the Indian sport of Malakam, a male dominated sport where competitors would perform acrobatic moves on a vertical wooden pole. Pole dancing has become more popular recently with males as a way of improving strength. I spoke to Lawrence Judd, a 19 year old student at the University of Manchester who has been practicing pole dancing for seven months now. Already have you up under my arm, I use the ball of my tricks, I hope that you like this, but you probably won't, you think you're cooler than me, you got design and shades just to hide your face. And Whenever I have the opportunity to, I like to do it purely because it is a great form of exercise and it's different because I, I, I do quite a lot of Taekwondo and I used to do a lot of weight training and it's completely different to both of those um, and it's a very good way of holding your physique and keeping it going as well. There is a petition for pole dancing to become an Olympic sport and um, what do you think about this? Will it help or hinder the sport as it is now? Um, I would certainly think it would help it because people will be able to see that it requires a lot of skill and a lot of strength and a lot of athleticism to do properly. Um, in gymnastics are already a part of the Olympics, pole dancing is essentially gymnastics but sort of sideways. It's just it's using a different piece of apparatus to do much of the same thing. So I don't see why it shouldn't have a place in the Olympic. Pole dancing has begun attracting a wider variety of people. I spoke to Sarah Benny, owner of Alternative Pole Dance School, Pole Fire, which specialises in pole dancing to rock metal music. What was the inspiration of opening Pole Fire? Well, I got really into pole fitness and I was training in a lot of other places, but most of the places that you go to are like gyms or dance schools, which for alternative people can be very intimidating and you don't necessarily feel like you fit in as nice as the places are. So I wanted somewhere that was non-intimidating, that was just relaxed and fun, but like without compromising on the teaching as well, and somewhere we could have metal. You know, we were in it for fitness, and I, but I do like that it's a bit sexy as well, and I like that it's fun and, and you can make it sexy and you can wiggle about if you want, or you can just like push yourself and do strength stuff, and I think that's the beauty of it, that it can be whatever you want it to be. And it's There is a petition for pole dancing to become an Olympic sport. Do you think this will help or hinder pole dancing as it is now? I'm very much in two minds about that because in some ways I think it's brilliant because publicly it will be recognised as a sport and there's still a lot of the public that don't see it that way and it would be great to show them actually what it's about, that it requires a huge amount of strength. But I think a lot of the people that have been in, in the industry a long time are going to take it really hard because you know, they're just going to be swept away by the young kids. And also again, it would just be like everything would have to be done perfectly. It could just become too, I don't know, clinical. It seems there are both pros and cons to pole dancing becoming an Olympic sport. Although the petition is backed by passionate and enthusiastic people, more needs to be done to raise awareness and regulate pole dancing before it can reach an Olympic level. Laura Burke, East